Welcome to the future of energy. Here at Argonne National Laboratory, some of the world's brightest scientists and engineers are creating revolutionary new battery technology. The science we're developing today means the batteries that power tomorrow's electric vehicles, cell phones, and other consumer products will last longer, have more charge, and cost less. The story begins here, in one of Argonne's high-tech labs. Using labs and glove boxes like these, more than 100 researchers continually work on designing next-generation battery materials. When Argonne scientists find an exciting candidate, work begins on creating testable prototypes. Prototype cells move to the Cycler Lab, where over 1,500 different batteries can be tested at once. This lab gives researchers the ability to rapidly screen new materials and test the energy and power capabilities of different battery cells, as well as the number of charge and discharge cycles they can survive before failing. This lets us identify the best samples and move them on to further testing. When a battery does eventually die, it moves to Argonne's post-test facility for a formal autopsy. Here, scientists find the root causes of battery failure and develop ways to prevent it in the future. When our scientists want to take a closer look at the internal structure of the battery, we can move to the lab next door. Just like doctors use MRI technology to look for broken bones, battery scientists can use nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine the internal structure of batteries. Once a new formula shows promise, it's time to make full-sized prototypes for testing. In this humidity-controlled dry lab, researchers use robotic stackers and winders to create specially sized batteries, exactly like the kinds used in cell phones, laptops, and electric vehicles. This allows us to analyze new batteries against current industry standards. Once a prototype is deemed successful, researchers begin the complicated task of scaling up the process of making battery materials. Here at the Materials Engineering Research Facility, scientists work to speed up the process of getting advanced battery materials ready for industry, like the battery cells in your electric car, or your cell phone, or any of the electronic devices you use in your day-to-day -day life. And that's the Argonne story, taking basic materials and chemistry at the atomic level all the way to the real world.